This is a public service announcement for Alzheimer's disease. Changes in brain occur about 10 to 20 years before Alzheimer's is diagnosed. This is referred to as preclinical Alzheimer's. There are three stages of Alzheimer's, mild, moderate, and severe. There is no cure for this disease. It worsens over time. On average, the lifespan of a person is 48 years after diagnosis, but someone can live up to 20 years after diagnosed. There is both non-drug and drug intervention. Mild symptoms include memory loss, poor judgment, changes in personality, and slowness. Moderate symptoms include increased memory loss, problems recognizing family and friends, impulsivity, delusions and paranoia, and a hard time completing more complex tasks. Severe symptoms include inability to communicate, inability to recognize oneself or family, difficulty swallowing, groaning or grunting, and weight loss. About 36 million people are now living with Alzheimer's. On average, every 68 seconds, someone develops Alzheimer's, and Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. Here we have the normal WNT signaling pathway. This is generally, in this pathway is, lies the problem for many Alzheimer's disease patients. Initially, there's a frizzled receptor embedded within the phospholipid bilayer. The inactive frizzled receptor then receives a WNT messenger to become activated. By doing so, a protein complex known as the destruction complex bonds to the frizzled receptor. After the, after the destruction complex is bonded, uh, both the LRP6 protein and the destruction complex protein uh, complex are, are dephosphorylated, known as proper brain function. So the disease pathway, here we have our lipid bilayer, our gamma and beta secretases, which are the internal enzymes, they're gonna cut the amyloid precursor protein, which is created in excess due to the lack of LRP6. So here we see they cleave the APP into three different parts, but the most important part is amyloid beta polypeptide. This amyloid beta commonly misfolds and is sticky. They clump together in lines called oligomers, which clump together even more to then form plaques. These plaques can block synapses and trigger harmful chemicals in the brain. Here we have our neuron, and synaptic activity, we can see the plaque blocks the synapse, leading to the neuron to be decommissioned. While there's no cure uh, as of now for Alzheimer's disease, there have been significant efforts made to find a cure. In 2014, in, at the Mayo Clinic, Dr. Boo and his colleagues conducted research to introduce LRP6 back into, into the WNT signaling pathway. By doing so, the LRP6 introduction would restore the pathway back to normal function.